In this Learning Byte for Windows Small Business Server 2011, we'll take a look at licensing. So this is the third in a four-part series, and today we'll look specifically at virtualization scenarios. So the first question that people are likely to ask is, can SBS 2011 be virtualized at all? And the answer to that is yes. And if we look at just the simplest scenario, if you have a server that's running Hyper-V or some other virtualization technology, and you purchased and licensed that separately, then you can use that server to run either Essentials or Standard or the Premium add-on as virtual machines on top of that server. So in the licensing documentation, you'll see virtual machines referred to as virtual operating system environments. So both from a licensing and a technical perspective, it is supported to run the SBS 2011 family of products as virtual machines. Now the next question that we ask is, can any of these uh, products be used as virtualization hosts? And the answer to that for SBS 2011 Essentials is no, it cannot be used as a Hyper-V host. And this is in terms of both a licensing perspective as well as a technical perspective. It's not supported to run virtual machines of any kind on top of the Essentials product. Now this is exactly the same for uh, SBS 2011 Standard, which also cannot be used to run Hyper-V and serve as a Hyper-V host machine running other workloads as virtual machines. But if we look at the premium add-on, the story is different. We can actually use the premium add-on to host virtual machines. It can run the Hyper-V server role and host those virtual operating system environments. So if you have a licensed copy of the Windows Small Business Server 2011 premium add-on, you could use that to virtualize a copy of SBS Essentials. You can also use it to virtualize a copy of SBS Standard or any other workload that you would want to do. If you have purchased multiple copies of the premium add-on, you can use a copy to virtualize other copies of the premium add-on. So all of that is fully supported. Now one scenario that gets a lot of questions and uh, provides a certain amount of confusion is whether or not you can use one single license of the premium add-on to both host virtual machines as well as run as a virtual machine. So can it be used as its own parent partition and then run in a child partition? And the answer to that is yes. And this is exactly the same licensing that you'll find in Windows Server 2008 R2 standard licensing. If you run it as a virtual operating system environment, then you may also run an additional instance on a physical machine, but only in order to run the hardware virtualization software, to provide hardware virtualization services, and to run software to manage and service those virtual machines. So as long as you don't run any other workloads on that parent partition, and that includes SQL, and that includes Active Directory, and that includes any other workload, then you can use that same server license to just run the Hyper-V role. And that allows you to then use that one single copy of the premium add-on to both be the parent partition and also run as a virtual machine. So again, that's exactly the same licensing that you'll find in uh, Windows Server Standard. The last thing I just wanted to cover real quickly is uh, using remote desktop services to provide desktop virtualization. So the premium add-on can be used to run the remote desktop services server role and to host remote desktop sessions. Keep in mind that you do need RDS CALs for each remote desktop session that you want to run. And this is different, again, from Essentials and Standard. Both of those do not allow you to run remote desktop session host. So you can only use the premium add-on or other copies of uh, Windows Server to actually provide remote desktop services. So that's a quick look at virtualization scenarios with Windows Small Business Server 2011. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join us for future Learning Byte videos.